my name is Queen Renee and you are tuned into Nothing But The Truth Show. And here with me today on this segment, I have my business uh, consultant manager for Lined In Stilettos and her name is Lady Victoria. Hi. How are you doing? Thank you so much for being on this episode. And yeah, and funnily, uh, you are my interviewer and I am the interviewee. So. <laughs> Run with the question. Yeah. So Renee, now I want you to tell us about Lion and Stilettos. Uh, Lion and Stilettos, it's um, all about, um, I'm not a feminist. So Lion and Stilettos is all about women who are evolving to be empowered or empowered to evolve. Okay. Yeah. So what inspired this? Uh, of Lion and Stilettos? Yeah. Um, first of all, it's God. But I think what happened to birth out Lion and Stilettos is my experience um, a few years back when I had I faced so much challenges as a woman and I was married, I married really young. Yeah, and I gave birth to a beautiful daughter and it was a challenging period for me because he was very vindictive, very possessive, very controlling. In fact, he met me as a boss lady because I had my business in Silverbird and in Hilton Hotel, um, the work I was doing at the time. So he was pretty controlling, you know, and beautifully I had a relationship with God. And at that time I was really depressed because I lost my business after marrying him. I lost so much. And all I had was my daughter at the time. And I was in a depressed state. I went in depression. And by the way, depression is real. So during that period of depression, I was facing the wall a lot. Like I couldn't talk anymore. In the last days of my marriage, I was just facing the wall. And I thought that I would end up committing suicide because I was in an abusive relationship. I said, what did I sign up for? I finally asked God one day when I wanted to talk, what did I sign up for? That, is this where my life ends? Because you know, when you're in a marriage, you ask mm -hmm. yourself, is that all? Mm -hmm. Is that it? You know? At that time, you like wouldn't be thinking about the future. Yeah, yeah, I did a full stop, you know, and especially marrying the wrong person. Exactly. And God said two things to me. He said, what are you going to explain to your daughter mm -hmm. if you fail? Then second, what do you, because I've given you charge over women. He told me I'm an evangelist called to women. And he said to me, what am I going to give as an excuse for other women who are following me? What is it that I'm going to say? Because when you do get to heaven, I hold you accountable. And it dawned on me that he said, I didn't call you to give up. Mm -hmm. That you're going to give birth to something from this. And one day, when I heard that, there was that like light, that light, that glimmer of light. Okay. And I was, and I think a few months, like two months later, I was just, I said, okay, let me for, for, force myself. My dad taught me something. My dad's a very proactive man. And he told me, he taught me something when before I left him, he's alive. Before I left home, he taught me from a teenage, in fact, before I think I, I was eight, he taught me how to use a diary and pen and to be proactive, to plan my future. That future meets those who plan for it. Right? So I started planning. And, and that particular day, I went back to that and I started writing. And, I saw something online about, I don't know how, but I, obviously it's God that took me to it. So on the clip, I saw a pack of lions, lionesses. You know, I always thought, if you look at these lions, I always thought that it's usually the males that run, run the pack. So I used to always look thinking it's the male, the male. figure with the full hair. And I looked close. I saw a pack of lionesses. The ladies, the male, the females are the ones with no hair. And there were so much, multiple. They ran as a pack. Then two things I noted about the lionesses is that there's a senior lioness mm -hmm. and the there's queen. a yeah, subordinate. The and they go out for a hunting plan. The ringing foot. Yeah. And it's not the males that do it. No. It's once in a while the males join, but usually it's the, the, the queen then followed by her servants. And when they would run to get the um, the antelope or whatever, they go for the kill and she gives it. She now like calls the king lion and says, okay, come and enjoy. Okay. 
Yeah. Then second, what she does is that when there's another pack of lion or any other intruder, any other animal intruding, what she does immediately is that she takes her head and puts at the juggler okay. to protect the male lion from being killed because he's the king. And I looked and I replayed the video like three, four times. And I looked, I'm like, okay. Hmm, I never took note of that. Mm -hmm. Then I just kept spelling the L-I-O-N, lion, lion, lion. And the Holy Spirit told me, you are a lion. You're not just the junior lioness, you are that queen. And I'm like, okay, that's nice. Then I went to, there's another lady, um, she's a motivational speaker that I knew years ago before I never got married as a young teenager. Her name is Chanel Kupasides. And she did um, a wrote a book called um, Something Stilettos. But one thing I like about Chanel Kupasides is that everything about her was always on her high heel. And I was inspired by her, you know. And during those whole period before I got married, you can't catch me on flats. I would trek down the road high oats. <laughs> that's how she inspired me. So that's what gave birth to Lion. Insta. It was supposed to be like Lioness in Stilettos, but I'm like, no, 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 no. So the third one came in when I watched Empire, okay. Cookie Lion. Okay. So they spelled theirs L-Y-O-N. It's okay. Lion, Lion. So that's where I got the application and gave birth to Lion in Stilettos. Oh, it's my original name. It was never copied. No one has thought of it. And I made sure of the spelling. So the lion has Y and the stilettos has Y. Uh -huh. So that's my favorite. That's, that's favorite. And, yeah. So how long has the company been in operation? Um, since 2016, I gave birth to lion and stilettos. Okay. Um, I worked, my first photo shoot was with um, Paul Okunu. Mm -hmm. Well, we're not talking anymore, um, but at the time, he did my first photo shoot. So if you look at my photos of my book, and which I wrote a book though, um, and my, um, you can see. Mm -hmm. What is that? It's, it's about um, manifestation, mm -hmm. how to manifest, how to bring your, what you desire mm -hmm. into reality, the step by step. Mm -hmm. But it's under revision right now. Mm -hmm. So hopefully by next year, if Christ tarries, mm -hmm. I will release the book. Because the reason why I put the book on hold is because I want to be the life experience. And now I am that life experience. I am that testimony. Mm -hmm. It's not enough to write a book and you're not the actual vision of what you say. Mm -hmm. You know. So now that I'm actually what, living, it. living it is my testimony. I'm in a fabulous life. The billionaire bitches life yeah, now. That's beautiful. Yeah. So, like we all know about your reality TV, your social media show. Okay. So what? Like what's next for? Um, okay. So um, Linus the Lodos is vast. Um, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Mm -hmm. I'm not religious. I'm spiritual, and I believe. And not, I believe, the truth is that women are multi mm -hmm. We are gifts from God mm -hmm. to humanity, to this universe. Mm -hmm. And I found out that I can do almost 20 things at the same time. You're my living with yeah, right? yeah. Equally you too. I think that's how we women are built. Mm -hmm. We're bosses, we're wives, we give birth, we cook in the kitchen. We train the kids. We train the kids, we have staff. It talks about Proverbs 31, the virtuous woman. Yeah. And I am that living pistol. Same with you. Mm -hmm. So Lion is the Lettles is equally that. Not only am I an entertainer, I'm a motivational speaker, I am an evangelist when I need to be for the kingdom of God in Christ Embassy, as the ministry I attend. Then I'm equally a, a fashion designer. I have my own styles, like this is one of my styles. And um, and equally um, in, what else? Yeah, I do event planning and there's reality TV. So my reality TV explains all the work that I'm doing, you know, and we have some other projects that are coming up. So thank God, God gets all the glory. One of my visions was to style women. And I have been styling women, but it's more beautiful now because I have finally have my own studio for line and level. But the beautiful part is that you can see my jewelries and throughout my shows and all that. And it's my friend that I've known for um, close to like 12 to in between 15 years. 
And one thing beautiful about her is that she equally to like us, she's a boss lady. Mm -hmm. um, her brand, she's the CEO of T Blinks, and a lot of people do not know her face from yeah. because she pushed her brand forward. A lot of entertainers, name any Nigerian celebrity, it's her um, jewelry that they have been buying mm -hmm. and all that. And equally, I, I've been uh, purchasing all her jewelry and she saw what I've been doing with the jewelry and all that. And she, we came together, oh, it's you, it's you, and all that. And I told her my vision of what I want to do. And I told her I'm looking to open my studio here that, you know, let's collaborate. And she said, oh yeah. Although it's taxing what's been happening since 2020, but we don't give up for false women. And that's how we came together and we opened Linus and Littles in collaboration with T-Blinks. Okay, so where's the store located at? Um, right here in Lucky Phase 1 okay. at Morrity Way. Everybody knows Studio 24. 24. Yeah, that's, in fact, the plaza is literally called Studio 24. So there is where we have. The um, store is located. Yeah, and you know, it's not just they can come and buy it. We can actually, as uh, your my brand consultant, mm -hmm. um, will be help, helping to overhaul women's um, mm -hmm. fashion wear, you know, and have seminars because I've held seminars before, but I took a break from it. So with that, we're able to bring in over styling women, changing women's wardrobe, okay. and bringing out the self-confidence mm -hmm. and all that. So I'm looking forward to do more work like that. Yeah. That's beautiful. So thank you so much for sharing. We appreciate your love. Thank you so much for doing this with me. Thank you too. And all that. Thank you for having me. And your brand is Royalty BM Luxury. You can follow her on Instagram or her name aka is Lady Victoria. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate you. Thank you. And without much ado, see you guys next time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.